Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So usually I make videos where I'm talking about planting host plants and pollinating plants for butterflies. And in fact, I've even created a video about planting trees as host plants and uh, why butterflies like certain species of trees. I've got a link to one of those videos right up here above. So hopefully you can link and check that uh, video on planting maple trees. But the other passion I have is every spring, I love tapping my maple trees and creating maple syrup. So that's what our agenda is today. I'm gonna show you the simple process of tapping a maple tree, and I'll make a couple other videos that show, show the boiling process and then the bottling process of maple syrup. I have just two maple trees, and from that, I can create enough syrup to last me the whole year and have extra to give out to friends and family. So let me show you the steps of tapping a maple tree. All right, so the first thing you need is a maple tree. And so I'm fortunate I have a couple maple trees on my property. There's different kinds of maples you can tap. You can tap sugar maples, which is the best. It's a hardwood maple tree and has a good concentration of sugar to sap. I don't have sugar maples, I have silver maples, which is a soft maple. It still works and it creates a really nice, light, delicate syrup, but it's not quite as concentrated of sugar sap as the sugar maple. The other thing you have to consider when you're tapping maple trees is the time of year. And this is the perfect time of year. Late March, early April, when the temperatures are below freezing at night, and above freezing during the day. So the next week looks like that's gonna be perfect in Minnesota here. It's gonna be below freezing and we expect it to be into the 40s during the day, perfect. So what happens is the maple tree starts to kick in. It starts taking water out of its root system and start feeding it up towards its leaves so they have water to bud and moisture to bud. And that's what you're doing, you're collecting the sap, you're drilling holes in the tree and collecting that sap that's going up in the tree and then you're collecting it and just collecting, um, we'll collect maybe five to 10% of the sap that flows during uh, up to the buds during this time of year, but it doesn't hurt the tree at all. It's gonna be fine. So here I have my silver maple. So the other thing is you gotta have a maple tree that's large enough. And really the minimum size of a maple tree to tap should be about 12 inches. So I wanna show you the 12 inch diameter of my tree. So this tree is actually about 21 inches across, so it's plenty big. And you can put one tap in a tree that's about 12 inches to 18 inches. If it's bigger than that, you can actually put a couple taps over 18 inches. And if it's over 24 inches, you could put three to six taps in one tree to collect more sap out of that tree. I'm gonna just place one tap in my tree. All right, so I have my spile. I'm gonna actually have a little hammer and I'm gonna tap the spile into the tree and that will just be able to stay. And then the spile is great, but because it has a little spot, I can attach this lid and it's got a little hole where I can hang this bucket from. So it's really a really all-inclusive spile, which makes it really easy. I got this from mapletapper.com, and I'm gonna put a link below. So if you wanna check out their stuff, it's great. It tells you everything you need to do and has the kit to tap your trees. All right, so what tools do we need? I think it really starts with a drill. You have to drill a hole into the tree. I've got a 5 16 inch bit. In the old days, they'd use 7 16 It creates a bigger hole, but it also is a little harder for the tree to recover from that and repair the hole after you pull out your tap. So 5 16 is the recommended amount. And then I put some tape here at an inch and a half. So you go an inch and a half into the tree and you go at a slight angle so the sap can run out of the tree into your bucket. So the drill. I also have these spigots, or they're called spiles, and mine are plastic. So you put the spile into the hole you drill, the sap actually flows up and out into your bucket or collecting bag. 
And then lastly, I'm going to take the sap I get from these buckets every day, and I have some collection buckets. I have these five-gallon collection buckets. I have probably six of these, and I collect 25 to 30 gallons of sap before I actually start to boil. So you want to have these and empty these collection buckets every day. So this is where I drilled a hole last year. And you typically want to drill a hole two to four feet off the ground. And you want it to be on the south side of the tree so that sun, south sun, hits this side and it's where the sap really flows. You also ideally want to have it under a big limb or branch because that gets more sap flow also. And then if you want to keep your tree healthy, you want to move that hole around year to year. So you should be on your next year or this year, we're going to be at least six inches over. And it makes sense to have it like 12 inches up or down from last year. So I'm actually going to move it over to this area and drill my hole. Again, I'm going to do it at a slight angle up and go ahead and drill. So I'm getting all the debris out of the tree here. I actually brought a little Q-tip to try and just kind of clean out any wood. And it's really great because I can already see sap wanting to get out of the hole. So I'm going to now take my spile and just tap it in. And there it is. It's got a slight, a slight angle. And you can see, look at the sap is already starting to come out. So my next step is I'm going to set my lid in. So I basically put it in. There's a little hole here where I can put this little metal piece through. And then I'm going to hook my bucket up and it's already dripping sap. So it'll be dripping like that. I would assume I'm going to collect a couple gallons of sap out of here today. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drill my second maple. Again, a few inches from last year's hole, at least six inches under a big, huge limb. Should be perfect south side of the tree at a slight angle up. And so let's go ahead and try it. There it is, nice white, light colored debris coming out of the hole, which is perfect. Again, I'm going to just get a little debris out of there. I'm going to set my drill down and now I'm going to put in my spile. These spiles can be metal or plastic. Mine are plastic. It's the sap is already running out. It's crazy. Put my lid on. I'm going to hook my bucket on. I can't believe how much sap is already dripping out of here. It's just going to be a steady drip of sap like that all day now with the nice sun and the 40 degree weather hitting on this. Can you hear that tap, tap, tap? The drops dropping in the bottom of the bucket, that's a sweet sound, isn't it? All right, it's been about five, six hours, and we've got a lot of sap already in our bucket here. So I'm going to take it off and just pour it into my other bucket here. So that's probably over two gallons of sap. You can see it's just like water and it's got a little bit of concentration of sugar, but I'm super excited. The other tree also has two to three gallons in it. So that's a lot of sap for just a few hours. So this is a great time of year. We're a month or so before planting or maybe six weeks, but knowing that you're tapping your maple trees knows it's getting close to butterfly garden time but 
a favorite time of year for me. I've got my two trees in the front yard tapped. I'm collecting tap. Later today, I'll pour it into a collection bucket and store it in a snow bank to keep it cool for a few days before I boil. So I hope you enjoy this video. Later in the week, I'm going to create another video when I boil it down into syrup and another video maybe on how I put it and place it into the bottle. So that's all I got for now. I've tapped my trees. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy slash Maple Tree Tapper signing out.